Hey there, I'm Brian with the Razorback Off-Road. Today we're going to be covering the install of the Exhibition Rack on the 2021 and up Can-Am Commander. So I'm going to go over some components real quick. We have our basket, we're going to have two side pieces, and then our tailgate. Those are our large components. For our hardware, those are all going to be included in your hardware kit, including the two Allens that you're going to need for this job. The tools required, we're going to use half-inch socket and ratchet. And then I'm going to be using a half inch ratcheting wrench, but you can use a regular box wrench. And then we have our 3 8 socket um, and then our half inch um, other wrench I'm going to be using for this install. So we have a couple other pieces we're going to be using. We're going to have our receiver plate, receiver bracket, excuse me. And then we have two hinge plates. One's going to be a little bit diff different than the other. We're going to be using the smaller one on top and the larger one on the bottom. We're also going to need a drill and a drill bit. We recommend one size up from 5 16 and that's going to be used for installing the 5 16 bolts on the bed. Then we have two pull pins and the rest of the hardware. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I want to take a moment and talk about if you have bought one of our Sherpas, the link to that video is going to be in the description below. Go ahead and go over there and check that out for that install. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is not using these tools, but we're going to go ahead and remove these panels here. So there's two Zeus screws on either side. All you gotta do is unscrew those and put those to the side. And this guy just slides right off, just like that. I'm gonna put this to the side right now. And I pre for the other side. And this operation is the same whether you have a Commander two-seater or four-seater. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill out those holes for the mounting hardware. There's a dimple here that we're gonna be following for that, and then we're gonna be drilling straight through. There's a metal piece back here, um, but there's a large enough hole that you can just go ahead and um, go right through. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and repeat that for the other side. And again, just following that dimple right there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. We're done with that. Next, we're gonna grab the right side. So this side right here, we're gonna grab that component right now. So this is our right side. You'll notice that this has the uh, hinge plates right here, and that would be on the right side of the machine. Go ahead and set that up there. Go ahead and align it with that hole we just drilled and it should just stay right there. Next, we're gonna grab one of our 5 16 bolts, one of the large fender washers, one of the, lar the smaller washers, excuse me, and then one of our 5 16 lock nuts. We're gonna put that fender washer on top. Go ahead and slide that right through. And on the underside of this, we'll go ahead and get that nut started. For this step, I'm gonna be using that half inch ratcheting wrench like I was talking about earlier. And then our half inch socket and ratchet. And when you're installing this first bolt, you actually wanna make it kinda of tight because we're gonna be using it to retain the side when we put the other mounting hardware on. And the reason I'm using the socket and ratchet on the bottom is because it's kind of recessed in there so you won't be able to access that, that nut. Now it's fairly tight, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for the left side. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that now. So this is our left side and it just has that bracket on there and that's a good um, note for which, noting which one is the left side or the right. So now we want to grab another 5 16 bolt, large fender washer, smaller washer, and lock nut. Okay, now that that's started, I'm going to go grab my tools.
Okay. Put those aside for now. Next, we want to raise that tailgate, go back up. At this point, we're going to actually raise the bed. So those bolts are going to hold it in there for us. So it should be good to go. Just lower it slowly. And they'll wobble a bit, but it's going to be all right. So next, we're actually going to grab some of our custom hardware. First, we're going to grab um, not the large one, but the smaller one. So we're going to grab that. And then one of our 5 16 bolts and large fender washer. So we want to go install this. We want this weld nut to be on top and go through the hole in the back of the bed. And go ahead and get that started. And just make sure when you do it, when you're um, installing this tightly, we want to make sure that that piece is all the way against the bed. I'm going to repeat that for the other side. Again, 5 16 bolt, fender washer, and then that piece of hardware. Now I'm going to grab that half inch socket and ratchet. We'll go ahead and crank down on those. You might take up some slack uh, after doing that hand tightening first. Cool. Next, we're going to grab these, these brackets. They're going to be able to go inside the machine, and we're going to show a close-up of that so you can get a better idea of where we're going with that. I'm going to start on this left side here. So you want to put your bolt through the second hole right here and then put this guy all the way against the hard stop in there and just start hand tightening. And I'm going to repeat the same process for the other side. And that should be the last of your 5 16 bolts. Just try to take as much slack out of that bolt as possible, but hand tight, and then grab your socket and ratchet again. We want to make sure those are nice, nice and snug. Those are very important to keep those tight. Go back and tighten those top ones. Now that's done, we're gonna go put that tool down. At this point, we're actually gonna tilt that bed back. Should be very easy. Next, we're gonna grab that basket and then we're gonna be installing that. Luckily, I'm 6'5", so I can do this by myself. But if you are not, you might wanna ask a buddy to help you out. We're gonna go ahead and drop this guy in. Just like that. Now that we have our basket up there, I'm going to go ahead and grab the hardware for that. While I'm doing that, you might want to grab a step ladder so you can be able to get up there more easily and see the bolt holes. We're going to grab six of our quarter inch fasteners and then um, we're going to keep those for now and then we'll grab the lock nuts in a second. Just want to make sure that each of these slots line up. You can get those bolts through easily. And there are six per side. Okay. Then we'll move to the other side and just repeat that process of lining those bolt holes up.
Now we're gonna go ahead and grab six of our quarter inch lock nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and start those bottom, bottom ones because they're a little bit easier to reach. And do those back ones. And the reason we're doing it is hand tight for now. It's just that we have that adjustment if we need it. And then we'll come back and then tighten those all down. So now we're gonna make sure that our basket is pretty centered on the rack, making sure that gap is the same on either side of the basket. It looks like it is. So we'll go ahead and start tightening down those bolts. You're gonna need a 3-8 socket out here in that 7 16 wrench. I'm gonna grab that step ladder here, come over that left side first. We're actually gonna wanna start on these bottom bolts here and then work our way up the flanges. Get those good and snug. So now that we've completed that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our tailgate and install these T-pin handles right here. Now that we have our um, tailgate, we're gonna go ahead and install these. So we're gonna be using blue thread lock. Just gonna put a little bit on the threads there. We're gonna be installing it in these receivers right here. And those thread in just like that. There's that. Then we're gonna repeat it for the other side. Repeat the same process with the uh, blue thread lock, just a little bit on the threads. And thread that guy all the way in there. Now that our tailgate is prepped, we're gonna install this receiver bracket right here. We're gonna need two quarter inch bolts and then our lock nuts. That should be the last of your quarter inch hardware right there. So an important thing is we want this to be facing out like this and we're just gonna install this loosely so we have some adjustment later. Go ahead and put that first bolt, bolt in up top and start your nut and repeat for the bottom there. So now that we've um, loosely installed that, we're gonna go ahead and grab that same socket and 3 8 and then our 7 16 We're gonna snug these up a little bit, but not all the way. We wanna be able to adjust it, like I said, just, just snug enough. So it doesn't wobble around on you. You'll notice I have some adjustment here, but it's not gonna be moving around on me. So at this point, I would really recommend grabbing a buddy. I'm gonna have Austin come help me here in a second. Um, we're gonna put some of our washers, stainless steel ones right here, and these shoulder screws through the hinge plates here on the tailgate, and then our hinge plates here. But first, before we do that, we're gonna install these hinge um, plates here, the ones with the four slots in. We wanna make sure that we install like this underneath this plate, so it should be able to rotate like that. It won't fit otherwise because of the weld. We're gonna use four of our shoulder screws for that. You're gonna grab four of your 5 16 lock nuts. Just working your way around. Just hand tight for now. On this top plate, the orientation, whether it be this way or that, does not matter, but it does matter on the lower one, and I'll show you that here in a second. So this is your lower hinge plate, and the orientation does matter. So we're actually gonna put it in 
just like this. So this crescent shape is going to be facing out of the machine, not in. We're going to put it in just like that, just like we did the other one. And just repeat that process like we did up top. Okay, that's holding it for me. And that's the last of those. So now that I've done that, we're going to go ahead and snug those up just a little bit. But we're only going to do two of each bolt on each of the plates. So you're going to need to grab your quarter inch Allen that will provide for you in your hardware kit, and then a half inch box wrench. That's all you're going to need for that. Like I said, we're only going to be doing two of those on each of them. Might be able to get away with it up top there for now, and then. Just, just barely snug on two of them. That way we have that adjustment. And like that, I just did it a little bit too tight. So I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. I want that plate to be able to move just a little bit. I'm gonna back this one off just a little bit more. So just like that. We want it to be snug so it doesn't wobble up and back, sorry, wobble up and down but we also want it to be able to move back and forth. I'm gonna repeat that process down here. Okay, so just double checking, make sure that's still loose enough we can adjust it later, which it is. Now I've done that, we're gonna grab our shoulder screw here, our smaller Allen, and then these two smaller washers here. Um, we're gonna be using those in between these two plates here and the plate we just put on. So I have Austin come out and help me with this. Uh, if you have a buddy, I'd, be, I'd really recommend it. Make it a little bit easier on yourself. All right, so now go ahead and come put that up there. I'll guide it in right there. So he's gonna hold that side right there. So we're gonna take our shoulder screw here, one of our washers, and we're gonna lift that up just a little bit and then put that through and then we're going to grab our other washer and slide it in between those plates. And that way it goes through. So at that point, it's not going to fall off. We're going to go ahead and put that nut on there. That way Austin doesn't have to worry about it falling on him. Then we're going to grab our other holder screw and washers and repeat the process down low. All right, we're gonna hand tighten that. And then Austin's gonna go ahead and redo that latch right there so we're locked in place. And that way we don't have to worry about it falling out. Cool. Thanks Austin, appreciate it. So now we're gonna take that smaller Allen wrench and our half inch, and we're gonna go ahead and tighten the nut on this shoulder screw. We can go ahead and do that. And repeat that for the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna put that down for now. We're gonna go back and grab our 3 8 socket and ratchet, and then our 7 16 wrench. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that when we open and close this, so you notice there's a little bit of play right now, that's because of the hinges over the hinge plates over there. But when we go right here, we wanna make sure that that closes effortlessly. We're gonna go ahead and snug these guys up. All right, so now that we have that snug down, we're gonna put these down for now. We're gonna go back and grab the quarter inch Allen and then our half inch boxing wrench and come back and tighten 
these guys up, the one that are on the uh, welded on hinge plate. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these guys up. But just to check real quick, we're gonna pull up on that latch right there on the pin. Make sure everything is snug, no loose bolts or anything. And as you can see, it closes beautifully just as it is right now. But if you have a heavy load or anything like that, maybe a, a spare tire mount on here and a 29 inch tire, it's gonna sag a little bit. So I'll put these down and show you what you can do to fix that. So I'm just gonna back these off just a little bit. Just, just a touch. That way there's no slop in the tailgate, but we're able to move those plates. So you see there's still a little play in there. We're gonna increase that a little bit more by coming back and loosening these outer ones. Again, you really only need to do this if you're gonna have a load on the tailgate. If you're using like one of our um, universal mounts and a shovel or something, you probably don't need to do this, but definitely if you're gonna use a spare tire. So you notice the tailgate just sagged a little bit. That lets me know that we have enough play. So we're gonna get close up right here. You'll actually notice that this hinge plate, or the strike plate, excuse me, is actually above that bracket. That's a good sign because we want that to be a little bit above, but when there's a load, it's gonna come right back down to where it needs to be. So we're just gonna make sure after we've tightened those bolts back um, that it operates um, smoothly and everything latches correctly. So lastly, uh, we're gonna put those panels back on. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. That tailgate. And that's gonna wrap up the install, but just to do a double check over everything, we're gonna make sure that this tailgate opens smoothly and that latch closes when it's open. It shouldn't go anywhere when it's open like that. Pull that pin up, should fall back, and it latches, latches well. We just wanna take a moment and talk about um, our spare tire mounts on your 2021 and up KM Commander X Fishion Rack. If you have bought a spare tire mount from us, we want to ask that you do not tilt the bed or use the bed while the spare tire is on. It's a safety thing for you guys, um, just something to keep you more safe out on the trail. Another thing is when you're operating the machine, we recommend that you follow the manufacturer of the machine's recommendations for uh, payload capacity. There is a placard on the inside of this bed that shows you the overall weight for the capacity of the um, bed. We have a requirement for 40 pounds or less and 29 inch tire for our spare tire mounts, specifically for this rack. We have a 60 pound limit on the basket and 30 pounds for each side. We wanna make sure you guys are staying within that range for the manufacturer. So that's gonna wrap up the install for our um, exhibition rack on the 2021 and up Commander. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, but we hope to see you out on the trail.